warning, this video has some internet stuff. So yeah, and shout out to Jada, me, and kind of Jason, because Jason, Jason. And uh, this took a long time, and I did all the editing, so go me, yay. <laughs> everyone this is your boy newscast um live in the studio coming to you from Ms. johnson's classroom dude this is mr kendall's classroom oh well anyways yesterday the awful hurricane harvey came to an end but in its fury it took many lives and destroyed lots of homes <coughs> Jason. um but luckily, we have a few special guests. Today, we will, we will go into detail about Harvey and hurricanes. In general, to educate us about procedures and the effect of a hurricane. Without further ado, I do. here are our guests, Jacob, Jane, and Philip. Our reporter have gone missing. Yeah, the reporter, you have to be up here. No, he's gone now. Okay. I'm back here. How would you say okay. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back. We got um Jade. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. Jacob. <laughs> Wait, where's my name? Oh, okay. I'm, I guess I'm not on this. Okay, here are our guests, Jacob and Jade. Good morning, dear guests. What have you got for us today? Well, I have information and stuff for you about the meteorology and geography of Hurricane Harvey. You might want to take this. That was a good summary. <laughs> and I'll take it away, the sociologist. Yeah, he'll take everything away. I, got <laughs> All right. I gathered the best methods to prepare for hurricanes. On Don't read word for word. Look at the camera. Do you think I know how to do my job? No, no. You know. <laughs> we made this guide that's showing you all the best ways and methods to prepare for a hurricane. He also prepared to tell you the effects of Hurricane Harvey on people in their communities. <clears throat> that was way too long, but okay. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? And then we're gonna let the class watch this. Now we're going to cut yes. our disaster volunteer, Frank Wright. And our interview. Well, hey guys, we're back. <laughs> oh wait, it's your wrong voice. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here, Frank Wright. <laughs> I don't know where my my lovely reporter came went, but thank you for taking the time to discuss Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane victims have gone through absolute horror of losing their homes and their cars, and, and for some, even their families, and their own life, such as all due to hurricanes that hit the Gulf Coast of Texas. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. Oh, wait. <laughs> I've all been a part of the death toll. Exactly. So now <coughs> but what I, my co-worker, our viewers, mm -hmm. or even regular people do to help living victims get through these turbulent times. This is a beautiful moment, man. Well, there are many things we can do to, to give support. Such as donating blood, 
as for room, money, or other materialistic things, such as deodorant, lotion, clothes, and underwear, underwear and toiletries. Sorry. Are there any ways to really get involved and directly help families dealing with destruction from Harvey or Hurricane Harvey? Stop leaving the sex! Well, because I don't want to waste time unnecessary, here's a little handbook my colleagues and I, plus Jacob KFC. <laughs> No, Jason Henderson, Henderson Chicken, Jacob KFC. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jacob KFC and re-owned sociologist wrote for those who need to know how to serve, survive a hurricane or a natural disaster in general. It has three main sections, before the hurricane, during the hurricane, and after the hurricane. Or with the hurricane. So you have to <laughs> with the hurricane. Stop being a weirdo. <clears throat> that seems like a very helpful guy. Are they priced? <laughs> Why would you yeah. ever be priced? This is supposed support supposed to help the public and serve those in need. The guide is completely free and being distributed to the area. Areas in Texas that are prone to hurricanes. <laughs> What a good deed you and your associates to help have completed. Sorry to cut short, but that's all the time I have today. Thank you, and it's your boy Newscast live on air. Back to Mary Porter. You're the Mary Porter. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Guys. Okay, it's actually recording. So what do our fellow guests have for us today? So look, here's what I'm going to do. Let me start out by saying that Harvey has produced a lot of destruction to the shelf life stand. Along with $180 billion in damage, the hundred dollar destruction have been flooded in Houston, Texas. Also, 9 out of 19 official river gauges have been reported to have an all-time high water level in nearest county, Texas. Subject of flooding. 500,000 cars were flooded and to the further proof that the amount of damage Harvey caused was large. About 336,000 consumers lost power during the storm. Approximately 40,000 wow. people. 40,000 people who stayed in the shelters in Texas and Louisiana are nearly 9,400 flights canceled to wow. and from Houston on August 25th due to the weather patterns. Actually, you didn't already know, Hurricane Harvey has been the most expensive hurricane the U.S. has experienced thus far. And in addition, the 2017 hurricane season has also been the most expensive season thus far. However, Harvey isn't the strongest hurricane. That title belongs to Hurricane Wilma with 882 million. The first hurricane to be documented was by Christopher Columbus near His Hispaniola, which is near the Caribbean Sea. The most storms per season was 28 during the 2005 season. The most moving, the fastest moving hurricane or tropical storm was the Long Island Express in 1938 at 60 to 70 miles per hour. And last but not least, the deadliest hurricane was the Great Galveston in 1900. 8,000 to 12,000 death toll. Cameras cut, cut, cut to my colleague Frank and Christopher. Talked about the dot, the death toll, and to explain, expand on the, that topic. I would like to say that out of 80, 88 deaths counted, 62 deaths were due to the wind, floods, and then rains and 26 were due to the falling infrastructure. Failing infrastructure. And Unsafe conditions. Mm -hmm.
All right. At 26, we're due to falling infrastructure. Failing. You suck. We're <laughs> failing. All right. Failing infrastructures and unsafe conditions. To focus and examine on the meteorology of Hurricane Harvey, I would like to say its wind speeds peaked at 140 miles per hour. Rainfall reached a staggering 60.58 inches, which is a record for the most precipitation for a tropical cyclone. And storm surge, which is how much the water level rises above its normal levels, was 5 to 12 feet. 57 tornadoes occurred during Harvey, and more than 19 trillion gallons of rainwater was dropped onto Texas. The only way to prevent this and more active hurricanes in the future is to stop global warming. God, I can't handle this anymore. I want this to be over soon. Alright, smiles at the smile at the camera. Why would you say that? That was a that was a direction. Oh. <laughs> that's, why you, that's why I was in that's why I was in sign. And within the dashes. Alright, 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 alright. You can like edit that out, right? Alright, Chris, yeah, Chris can. You can edit everything out. Dude. Okay. You need to add that fast. No. Zero? You want to get a zero? Sure. Well, I don't. This is what newscasters really do. They argue with each other. Really? Yes, they do. <laughs> offset. Okay, okay, offset. Off. 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 Okay. Off. Off. Okay. Do not test me, boy. I'll, I'll push myself off. That's not pushing yourself. No. Y'all better hurry. No. He's, his mom is out there waiting. Bye. Please. Please. Not, no, not I thought you were nice. She's not. She's I am nice. No. I am. I am nice. She's Jada, not Hickerson. Take back home to you.